I know I moved to Chicago just for Second City and I.O. Uh, I, I actually lived in a, a smaller town, Decatur, Illinois, and would drive up every Sunday for classes, uh, three and a half hours, then drive back that night on a Sunday night so I could work the next day. So uh, I know a lot of people who have, um, a lot of people who do it too early end up going back and finishing their schooling uh, and then coming back after that. Because uh, it, it's, it's not easy, it's tough. You, because this is where IO is and because this is where Second City is as well as five or six other improv theaters, it looks like there is a lot of improv around and there is, but for those theaters all together, there are also several thousand improvisers who are here and everyone competing to get those, those spaces and that makes it a little tough. It, it's harsh. I, I love for people to move up here to do improv. I, I've met people at festivals who are performing with other group, groups and I teach them and talk to them and um, they ask if they should move to Chicago and I, I encourage it. Uh, but it's usually for people who, who have finished doing their, their schooling or have finished whatever they've done and then they have moved up here. And then after that, two or three years later, they, they start doing a lot more performing. Mm. But that, that, those first few years, you start doing it and you don't get put on a team or you do a show once a month, you get discouraged and then you move back. I, I'm concerned because I, I want people to move to Chicago. I want as many people as possible to move to Chicago to do improv. But I also want them to succeed and have everything going in the in, in the best way for them. So 